hello everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new you're welcome and i hope you all are doing well so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful crochet, uh, crochet wig from scratch using expression braiding hair okay so with that said let's go straight into the video so i have a separate video showing you guys how to blend the purple and the pink hair color together in order to achieve the custom uh, hair color in this video so if you haven't seen that video, I'll put the link in the description box down below, so be sure to check it out. Okay, so you want to start by painting the black wig cap onto the mannequin head. So next, you want to take the lace you're going to be using for the closure, go ahead and pin it in place. So the one I'm using today is the SS lace I cut out of the blue wig I made a few months ago. So that's, this is the SS lace I cut out of the front of the wig before installing the wig. So yeah, so after you're done uh, pinning down your lace for the closure, you want to go ahead and take your needle and thread and sew it down. To get the middle points, I'm taking my measuring tape, placing it down, and I'm marking one inch. So I'm going to place a line right there for the middle part. So once you've made your line for the middle part, the next step is to cut out the black cap under the lace. So I just went ahead and did that off camera, and next I pinned the, the wig cap back in place. Okay, so moving on to the main tutorial. To start, you want to take the hair you're using. The braiding hair extension you're using okay hold on oh yes before you start you want to make sure to comb it to make sure it's tangle free so next you want to take a tiny amount of braiding hair okay tiny amount of braiding hair just as you can see in this video So to start, you want to take your crochet hook and pass it through the hole on the black cap. So next, you want to hook the hair and pass it through just like that. So using the crochet hook, hook the hair, pass it through the loop. Again, hook the hair. Okay, again, hook the hair and pass it through the loop. So next, pull on it to secure it in place. So we're going to be doing a double knot. Remember, you want to use a tiny amount of hair for this process. All right. So for the next hair you're going to be crocheting on top, you want to make sure it falls between the space on the bottom part. So this will help to give you the fuller looking crochet wig without having to use too much hair. So you want to use the same technique you will use when doing a box braid. So when you make a box braid, you want to make sure that the one on top falls in between the space in order to give you that fuller looking box braid. So that's the same technique you need to apply when working on a crochet uh, wig. And also the space, the amount of space you need to give depends on the amount of braiding hair you are using for the crochet braid. So if you're using a tiny amount of hair like the one I'm using in this video, then you only need, a, need to give a little bit of space. And if the amount of hair you're using for your crochet braid is bigger than the one I'm using in this video, then you need to give it more space. So, so the space you give between each braid depends on the amount of hair you are using for your crochet wig, okay? So getting close to where you attach the lace for the closure, you want if you're using a bigger amount of hair from the start, you want to tone it down a notch. You want to reduce the size at this point because you want the, the hair on the lace closure to blend well with the one on the black cap. 
So if you have like a bulgy, like a bulky uh, knot, it will affect the way your crochet wig will look because it won't lay flat. And if you try to comb it, the comb will hook the knot on the crochet braid you did on the black cap and that will ruin the whole thing. So moving on to the closure part, so I already did half of the lace closure off camera. So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you guys how to make your own uh, DIY lace closure. Okay, so to start, you want to take a little amount of hair, just like this. So next, you want to take that and fold it over. Okay, hold on. Okay, so before we start ventilating the hair, you want to make sure to comb the hair to make sure it's tangle free before moving on to the next step. Because if it, if the hair gets tangled, it can be a bit frustrating. So you want to make sure to comb it to make sure it's tangle free. Okay, so once you make sure of that, the next step, you want to take your ventilating needle, pass it through the hole on the lace. So next, you want to hook two strands of hair. Okay, so next you want to pass it through the lace again, just like this. So using the ventilating needle, you want to hook the hair, rotate the needle upside down and pass it through the loop, just like that. Okay, so I'm going to show you one more time. So you want to take your ventilating needle, pass it through the lace. So next you want to hook two strands of the braiding hair. Okay, it's just like that. So next you want to pass it through the lace. Okay, again, you want to take your ventilating needle, wrap it around the hair and turn it upside down. So next, you want to pass it through the loop and then pull the rest of the hair through the loop just like that. That's how you ventilate the hair. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, show you guys this a couple of times. So for this lace closure, I'm not going to be spacing out the hair because the lace is small and you need enough hair in order to cover up the crochet braid on the black cap so you can skip like one hole if you want in between the the hair you install if you want to but for me i feel like it's not skipping the hole on the lace had to give you that fuller looking uh, lace closure so you have enough hair to cover the the ones on the black cap so I get a lot of questions asking like, uh, how do you know how much space to give or how do you space out the, the hair on the lace closure or on the lace frontal? It depends on the what you're working on. If you're working on the lace frontal, then yes, you need to give it a little bit of space, kind of cut down the time a little bit. So when I mean space, you can skip one hole or two. That depends on you, depends on your own preference. For me, I can choose not to skip any hole on the lace or I can choose to skip one. That's my preference. So you do what's best for you. So for me on this um, lace closure, I didn't skip, I didn't space it out. I didn't skip any hole on the lace closure because I want the lace closure to look full and I want it full. But if you want to cut that at the time, then yeah, you can skip one hole in between installing the the hair so again you do what you want to do if you want to give it space if you want to space out the hair on the lace closure go ahead and do that okay so okay i'm done installing the uh the hair on the lace closure so we're gonna move on to the next step Okay, so here's how the wig is looking so far. So I'm still gonna do a little bit more to the wig. So right now it looks a bit puffy. So in the next clip, I'm going to be showing you guys the next step if you wanna reduce the size. So this is the color, I love it. In low light, you can see the real color. It's really, really pretty. With the camera I'm using and the lights I'm using, it kind of 
it doesn't give you the real color. In real life, when you look at it, the color is really pretty. Okay, so I got my gloves on. So next step now is to pour the hot water into the bucket. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab it. Okay, so next I'm going ahead to pour the hot water inside a bucket and I still have my gloves on. Uh, the only time I'm going to be taking these gloves off is when I've already dipped the hair in hot water. So next right now I'm going in with a conditioner. You can use any conditioner of your choice grab your hair conditioner put it in the hot water again do not dip your hand in hot water if you're not wearing gloves okay so you want to put the conditioner in the water use your comb to mix it in the water so before you put the you dip the wig in the water you want to make sure to comb the hair to make sure it's tangle free because you don't want to dip a tangle wig in the hot water it will come and look in a hot mess okay so you want to make sure to comb the hair the wig to make sure it's tangle free before going ahead to dip it in hot water again if you're not comfortable dipping your wig that you've spent hours making in hot water don't do it if you haven't tried before and you are scared on how it's gonna come out don't do it try the second method that is using the hot comb that is safer than dipping the wig that you spend hours making in hot water okay so you see what i'm doing here i'm comfortable doing this and if you choose to dip your wig in hot water you want to make sure to do a little test with the remaining braiding hair first before going ahead to dip the wig in hot water So after dipping the wig in hot water, you want to go ahead and uh, take a towel and dry off the excess water. So next, you want to let it air dry overnight. Do not comb the hair while it's still wet, okay? So you want to make sure the, hair, the wig is dry completely before going ahead to comb it. So this is the wig, it's still wet. So I'm just going to let it air dry overnight before going ahead to comb it. So right now, I'm just showing you guys the video of the wet look it looks cute okay so the wig is completely dry now so i'm just gonna go ahead and uh, comb it it's super duper soft so you can see the volume really reduced a lot which i love it because this is what i want i don't want like a super thick hair or super thick wig because over here the weather is hot like crazy 
the weather here is hotter than the weather in Arizona, hot and humid. So this is not a place to be wearing a big, thick wig during summer. Okay, so now that I'm done uh, combing the hair, the next step now is to trim the tip of the hair. Okay, so here is the final result of the DIY 2x5 lace closure crochet wig. Rewind selector. Rewind selector. Rewind selector. Rewind selector. All right, guys, so this is the final results of the crochet wig. I hope you find this video helpful. If you do, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And also, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. If you already subscribed, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for popping by today. And I'll see you all in my next one. All right. Okay. So now that we're done with the video, I had to put on the wig for you guys because I know you're going to ask like, Oh, Vivian, why didn't you put on the wig? You want to see the wig on you. So that's a riddle. that is the reason why I put it on top. Of my box braid yes I still have my box braid I haven't taken them down yet so I just pop the wig on top <laughs> tell nobody okay so as you can see my box braid is on the on the here <laughs> that's why I wasn't showing the back because if I turn around you will see the box braid right there so I had to just do a little well, then back to the front so yeah I just had to put it on the wig so that way you guys can see the color on me so now that I'm done with the video I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, take out the wig first let me soften the baby hair all right Let's take it out like that Get to the back. Okay, so here you go. That's the reveal, and here is the wig. <laughs> All right, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done.